I want to talk about Becky Hammond. So she was the first female assistant coach in the NBA, and now she's interviewing for the job, or the head coaching job with the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm -hmm. Pau Gasol came out and wrote a letter, a, a very well written and very interesting, about how he believes fully that she would be a success. I want to hear from two former players. What would be your perspective on the possibility of someone like Becky Hammond, she may be just the first of what could eventually be many, but, but a woman coaching an NBA team? Well, at some point it's going to happen, Greeny, and, and I agree with it. I really do. I think that, you know, obviously there, there's going to be some, you know, some issues from the outside world saying how can this happen. But it, to me it's no different than men coaching soccer, women's soccer. I mean, I have a soccer player at, at, at the University of Texas, my oldest daughter, and I, you know, she's played for men, she's played for women. I mean, I just think that none of that should matter and substance should be the only thing. And Becky Hammonds, who's going to be a Hall of Fame player, is learning under the greatest coach to ever coach the game, in my opinion, and Coach Pop. So why can't that be the story? Uh, no, I want to hear from you. because I, 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 would... I think uh, what people underestimate about sports and athletics is we become the transparent members of society. So many places where people are separated, normally you're brought together because of athletics, because of sports, and it becomes a melting pot. Athletes, if you, they feel that you can make them better, they'll listen to you, whether you're a woman or a man. They feel like you can help advance their careers, help them get paid, help them win championships. And so she's gaining that experience and that pedigree under Pop. I think she's going to get an opportunity eventually, and hopefully she does a great job. And I, and I know there was an article written name doesn't matter, um, insinuating that a, you know she shouldn't get the job because of all the mouth breathers and how they will react, which again goes back to, well, you shouldn't wear this and you shouldn't do that and women shouldn't do this because of how others will react. And I certainly hope that at some point some people can evolve past that line of thinking. You don't live your life for what the ignorant think. You do the right thing and you give it to the best possible person who's qualified. So whoever that guy was, you missed it. Well, that's something we can dive into a little bit more tomorrow, because I think it is worth a more conversation than that.